Welcome to my channel. I just started this YouTube channel and I wanted to start my first video with a haul, drop shipping haul, that I ordered from Printify. So, th thank you again for joining me. I'm just gonna film this one time and um, give you guys my review um, of what I think of the products that I received from Printify for art related. Um, drop shipping. So if you're an artist or if you are interested in selling your prints or if you just want to see what the things look like because you're researching drop shipping companies, please stay and watch. So I will say I ordered all my things on August 14th and I got I got them at different times. So I'll go through these one at a time. Some of them are partially opened. I'm going to open them with you. And we're gonna check these out. So, I'll tell you what I ordered. I ordered a large canvas, not large canvas, a medium canvas. It's about, oh, 12 by 15. I ordered a notebook and I ordered some Gicle prints. So let's get into this. The canvas came the quickest. When it came, it arrived in this box and I wouldn't say the packaging was terrible. Nothing was dented inside, but it was like pretty squeezed. So, I'll show you guys what it looks like. The canvas is wrapped in plastic, which is nice. Um, and it ensures that it's not gonna be damaged if water gets on it. And so my initial impression of this was, this is actually not too bad. I actually was pretty impressed with the print quality considering, and I did submit a high resolution image. It wasn't my favorite image, but it was a pretty decent, good image that I submitted. And so this was my print, the way it came out. I'm pretty happy with it, but I will say the gallery wrap canvas, it's not an actual canvas. This is basically a pizza box. You can see where they folded it in right there. It's board. So if you're ordering a can gallery wrap canvas, know that you're not ordering an actual canvas. It's a board that's folded to look like a canvas and they put this piece on the back to cover up the hollow inside. So it's not on a wood frame, but for an affordable option, I don't think it's a bad, I don't think it's a bad idea if you're going for really like affordable. If you're going for fine art, I would not get this. So, so let's move on to the next one. My rating out of 10 on this one, 7 out of 10. I'm not disappointed. It looks good. It's not dented up, but product quality, I'm looking for something a little bit higher end. Um, so it just depends on what you're looking for. Still actually a really good print. The next thing that came in was a notebook. I just picked one of the simpler spiral bound notebooks and it came pretty quickly. This part did pop right off though. So... It was already kind of open when I got it, but that's fine. It's, it was wrapped. Okay, so I got this spiral bound notebook and it's just kind of like a basic notebook. And the first thing I noticed, unfortunately, was I did the print space wrong. Like I didn't make my picture big enough to fit. So there's these white creases, but to be fair on the sample image, it was really hard to tell like, cause the, where the picture ended, it was really hard to see. But, I mean, I think the print quality is actually better on this one than than the uh, than the canvas. So if you look at the corners, I don't know if you guys can see the corners. They're pretty bent. Oh, and I was so sad to see the corners bent because it's actually it's actually not like a bad little notebook. I think I'm gonna carry it around for like tracking mileage, but like. I like it. It's almost like a little composition notebook. So I, I think I would sell this, but I might ask about the corners if that's something that happens routinely. Not mad about the print quality though. Colors are bright and the image was high quality. I would give this one 6 out of 10, only because the corners were really bent. And even though it was more affordable of one of the options, I just feel like at least bring it to me in like new condition. Okay, so now 
I ordered 2G clay prints, right? And I've been looking into this a lot because it's fine art, right? So it came in this wrap tube, but this was hard to get off. I tried to open it and I could not get this plastic off. So I just got it off a little bit at the top and popped it up. Okay, so it came wrapped like this. And I guess this is just tissue paper, that's fine. And I got two, so they wrapped them together. But, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I got two prints. I think this was a nine by 12 or 11 by 14. It's one of the smaller prints, but I'm going to show you guys the color quality compared with a local digital place that I've been working with so you guys can see the difference because the color is very muddied in these and it, it's not my print quality because I've submitted the same one to another place and then this print. So I'm going to give you guys more detail on each one of these. I'm actually looking at this one and not comparing it to anything else. It looks good. The paper doesn't have any texture though. And it's not shiny. It's a matte paper. I don't know. I would compare it to like maybe... It's... It's not photo paper and it's not poster board. But it's thick like poster board. I would say it's probably a little nicer than poster board. Let me show you the original painting. Here's the original. Here's the original, and here's the print. So look at how, look at how the greens are muddied on this. Look at the greens, look at the greens. So I'm sad because I made sure to get a really good image submitted to them. But you know how I know this isn't as great of quality because some printers will print this green. Some printers like the ProGraph 1000 and the Epson Sure colors, they use 12 colors instead of like three or six. Whoever printed this, they probably had like just a three color printer, which you want a print range that has a larger amount of colors to get those neons if you're doing neons and to get the richness especially in purples so i was really sad because everything looks so dim and i know i submitted a really good picture so let me show you i'm going to try to edit the video to show you guys like side by sides like a slideshow of the quality versus my local place. So I'm gonna put this up real quick. So let me do another comparison for you. I went to like a local quick print and they're just like a regular copy place. And I'm gonna show you the copy place versus Printify's G Clay print. So this is a regular copy, copy place, like a 79 cent print, right? Same image, look at the colors. Okay, this is the supposed G clay print, and I'm going to get the better view for you. You really won't be able to see it unless you're close. When you're in my space, these look really dim and these look brighter. And this is a 79 cent print. So let me show you one last one. This is a print that I ordered professionally for about the same price. Um, and I got it faster. <laughs> so the G clay prints that they sent me in the tube took over two weeks to get here. And in that time, I got set up with a local digital printer who printed my work and I got it shipped to a client before I even got my samples from Printify. 
So let me show you theirs. And here is my sample from the local place. Look at the greens, okay. Now do you see the difference? They use 12 colors, they use three colors. Look how dull it is. Look how dull, look how bright. I am like blown away by this one. This one's available on my Etsy and my website, but this one is an eye catcher. This I would be so embarrassed to sell to you guys, but if I hadn't seen this one, it wouldn't be bad, but look. Ah! So that is why it is so important to do your research and don't be like me and spend like $80 on samples when you don't even know if they're going to be good for fine art. Which... It's fine if you have graphic stuff, but if you're doing like detailed prints, maybe look into um, Fine Art America. I don't know if they have different printers, but this was my review of Printify in a local place. Um, I'm an Oklahoma based artist. I use Red River Digital and they go through everything with me and it was really easy. So right now I'm not doing drop shipping unless it's for items like the notebooks, which I still really like the notebook. The color was actually really bright compared to even the canvases and the Gite clay prints. Um, but I'm doing drop shipping for fun stuff like puzzles and notebooks. But I think for fine art, I just like to make sure the quality is great. I'm gonna go local until I can't go local anymore and handle it. Um, once again, thank you for watching my review. My final review of Printify for fine art would be probably a 7 out of 10. I think it's probably not best that you go with Printify if you're trying to do canvases and fine art prints and stick with somebody local until you can do more tests and get more samples in and make your final decision. So thanks for watching. I hope that you can subscribe. This is um, one of my first videos. I'm going to make many more here. Um, follow my print journey and my art artist journey for I do all kinds of stuff, paintings, murals, and I'm starting an art business too with prints and other things. So if you wanna see how I either am successful or fail, don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment if you have questions that I miss and I'll try to post some shorter videos to answer those. Thanks for watching.